What's going on guys? Just thought I'd do a quick uh, video of uh, a new piece of gear that I got here uh, tonight. Uh, I only paid a hundred dollars for this, this scope and uh, it's um, quite an interesting piece of gear. I, I'm really impressed and really uh, intrigued on the uh, operation of this thing. I've got my old scope here which is a Tektronix uh, 2445-150 megahertz scope. <clears throat> really easy to use. Uh, the controls are very clearly laid out and um, yeah, just a really nice uh, nice scope. So I am um, sir, I was getting into teaching this electronics course to, for kids actually and so I needed a second scope and uh, just have a look in the difference in size in this thing. I mean, there's my Tektronix scope. It fits on the bench nicely, and then there's that thing over there. It's uh, 18 kilograms. It takes up the entire bench, and it's got a fan in it that's just screaming. Um, and um, I have no idea how to use it, so uh, it's a fairly, fairly steep learning curve here. Um, as you can see, the the buttons on this thing are really cool. I mean, I just uh, can't get over that. I mean, they're just really, it's just a really cool piece of gear. Um, and I also recently just got this HP um, uh, 204C oscillator, and that's what I'm, uh, the signal that I'm putting through this thing is coming out of that. Um, and this is uh, just by coincidence the, my first two pieces of H HP gear and I just noticed the quality is just through the roof uh, just uh, yeah I really love the screen on this thing like the, the backlight is just really you know, bright green it's just really cool um, the buttons again they just have this really cool way of uh, like latching. Anyhow, everything on this scope is uh, controlled with this middle button, middle knob here. So, for instance, in the time section, we've selected uh, uh, seconds per division. It's got this cool little display in the middle, and then it also, <clears throat> you know, that <clears throat> tells you on the screen what the magnitude is as well. So. Uh, you can see at the bottom here we're <clears throat> moving in a hundred microseconds per division uh, but if we go and press this fine button here we can actually move I don't know if you can see that but we're moving one microsecond per division so this thing is incredibly accurate and that's the same thing for the uh, volt volts per division uh, right now we're at 480 millivolts per division and if we're not on the fine setting it just kind of goes up in increments of well it depends so uh, it looks like we're going in increments of 100 millivolts per division and if you want to adjust it further you just press the fine button and It'll go one millivolt per division. Extremely accurate. Um, just a really, uh, I don't know, just a really completely different experience and still trying to get used to it. Um, if anybody out there has any information on it or has maybe perhaps used it at one point and uh, can give any pointers, um, um, then uh, please, please. Uh, Please leave a comment or send me a send me a message. Um, so, anyways, I just wanted to make this video to show show you guys what this um, this unit uh, looks like and how it functions. And if you have any tips, uh, let me know. Um, it's not the most. It's not really a, a beginner scope. That's for sure. It's not it's not a real straight ahead kind of kind of piece of kit, but. I mean, I think it's well worth getting to know this piece of gear. I mean, um, you know, I think it's going to be a really, uh, really 
really useful when I learn how to use it. But uh, anyhow, uh, thanks for watching. Um, and uh, yeah, again, if you have any information about this uh, scope, please let me know. Thanks.